is sponsored by Ram Trucks, built to serve. Live from New York. No, we don't do that in the second half. Oh, I'm, I'm this is what happens when Wilds thing. isn't here. It's the show that's really thinking about what LeBron and Bronny would look like in Mavs silver. It's first no things way. first. Do I, on the second hour, first things first, do I need to start giving Brock Purdy more, more credit? Short answer, no. Also, J.J. Redick is the next head coach of the Los Angeles Lakers. Will he be LeBron's next it's head coach? It's good that they get along. Like we'll do, we'll, yes, but it is Thursday at 4 o'clock which means it is time for the most motivational segment in all of sports, the Bud List, but it's also a time where we read viewer mail. You for the year 2024, <laughs> we oddly get a lot of viewer mail, usually from the same couple families. You didn't open that like a gentleman. I did. Wow. <laughs> You're right. I just Master ripped it open. I should have had a letter opener. How does he do this? Here, first things first. Love having Danny Parkins on the show. Aww. He's been an absolute delight. With that being said, we are concerned over the whereabouts of our beloved Kevin Wilds. It is not like a true gentleman to miss a day of work. If you could please provide us with an update that would ease our worries, kindest regards, Ryan and Brian. Well, I'm glad they asked because I'm sure a lot of people, he is a national treasure after all. Yes. And this week, I guess he's an international treasure because he is missing the show to attend a black tie affair in Italy, and he sent in that, oh, bro, you're not dressed for the occasion. I mean, I mean it's a lovely wedding in Italy. Wild invite was last Wilds second. Looks and, great. Because uh, I've you embraced, as you I've embraced you Cowboy, embraced Brew. cowboy Brew. Yes. Okay, all right, bro, who's, who's underdressed? All right, here we go. At number three, Dame Dollar. Wow. Damian Lillard. Now, Dame, I don't know if Joel Embiid meant to take a shot at you when he tweeted Milwaukee just gave Boston a championship, or did they? But it seemed like a shot. It could be interpreted as a shot because you are Drew Holiday's replacement. And, Dame, there's one thing for you to do now. Go out and win a championship. All right? Drew Holiday got his second championship with Boston this year. Drew Holiday won a championship with Essentially the same team you're playing with now three years ago. Giannis was there, Bobby Portis, Brooke Lopez, Pat Connaughton. It's essentially the same crew except you switched in for Drew. All right, so you got, you're got you a top 75 player. You're better than Drew Holiday. We all agree on that, but you got to go out there and get it done. You got a top three player in Giannis. You've got, for all his warts on his record, Doc Rivers has won a championship. So you got a championship level coach. Dame, I believe in you. Oh. You should be motivated, man. You should have been watching that steaming. And how dare <laughs> Joel Embiid call you out. Go out there and get it done, Dame Dollar. All right, at number two, Nick, mm-hmm. shout out to you. Trevor Lawrence. What'd he do? Well, let, let's just keep oh, it real. God. You know, that's what we do here on the Odd Couple. Even as on I the motivate odd couple. you, I motivate oh, you. Oh, just I call mean, it the Odd first Couple. Thing first. <laughs> this guy. I got too many jobs. Got I got too job. many jobs. That's what we do here I'm on the Odd Couple. I'm the hardest working man in show business, <laughs> The baby. Odd Couple. All right. Go ahead. Is this what your radio studio is? <laughs> <I>, unbelievable. <laughs> beautiful radio studio. This guy. Wow. Uh, wow. You never know what's going to come. All right, Trevor, let's keep it real. You are riding... On your measurable 6'6", 220, yeah. long, blonde hair, handsome guy, yeah. and your college accomplishments. And to some, Nick Wright would be one. Your high school accomplishments. Hell high school Gatorade probably. player of the year and all yeah. that. But you really haven't done anything in the NFL in three years to warrant a $275 million contract. We will all agree on that. All right? And you certainly haven't done anything to warrant a royal nickname and a pair of bugle boys every time your name is mentioned on this show. All right? But that doesn't mean you can't. See, you thought I was against you. I'm saying you can. You got the weapons. They went out and added Gabe Davis and Brian Thomas Jr. And you already had Christian Kirk. You got a nice running back in Travis Etienne. And a Super Bowl winning coach kind of like Dame Dollar. All right, Doug Peterson. So, Travis or Trevor, go out this year and prove your skeptics wrong. Even you, myself and your biggest fan are saying now, 
You're not even the best quarterback in your division. Well, I don't know if I've said that. Re- I, I don't know. Yeah, do you believe C.J. Stroud? I've heard know. Trevor named among the top five. Uh-huh. All right, so go out and prove us wrong, Trevor, and get it done. All right, at number one, another quarterback, Nick. Dak Prescott. Okay. Dak, I don't think they believe him. They being Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones. I, why else would they send you out on the football field, not pay you, Right? Not pay you when it's cheaper to pay you now than it will be a year from now. And they've taken away two of your best offensive linemen. They've taken away your best running back and then replaced him with a guy that was great seven years ago. All right? But not great anymore. And they said, Dak, go and prove it to us that you deserve this contract. You lost several other free agents and really haven't replaced them. All right? I don't think they believe Dak. So go out there and prove these guys wrong. I, I get it why they're skeptical. You, you're two and five in the playoffs. You lost to the youngest team to make the playoffs in decades. And Jordan Love outplayed you in your home digs where you had been great in the regular season when there was no pressure. So you got to go out there and get it done, Dak. Prove that you deserve the $60 million contract or $60 million per year, even if you want a jet. Even if you thinking, ah, oh, the Raiders, it'd just be football there. Or the Steelers, maybe. It'd just be football there. I have to not deal with this drama, this soap opera nonsense. Go out there and prove it. Make the Cowboys beg to have you back, Dak. I kind of believe in you, not, but not really. I like you as an individual. You're a great person and a very good player. Go get it done, Dak. Yeah. That's the bud list. Excellent bud list. Great bud Thanks. list. Yeah, no, it was great. Um... Justin Fields going on the bud list. I don't know if you're a video gamer or no. if you play anymore, but Madden. In television, yeah, way back. Way back. So Madden, uh, greatest video game sports franchise ever, released their trailer for Madden 25. And the opening image is a Cleveland Browns kickoff against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And who is returning the kick? Oh. The kick returner. Wow. Justin Fields. This is shameful. That it is, is a bit insulting. So oh disrespectful. And now here's the crazy thing. I think teams are going to do wild things this year with the new kickoff rules. So I actually think Justin Fields will return a kick. Wow. I actually think Justin Fields will start a game. I actually do not think that either Justin Fields or Russell Wilson will be the starting quarterback of the Pittsburgh Steelers two years, a year from now in 2025. So he has a ton to prove this year, but if this disrespectful trailer, the opening image of the new video game doesn't give him the inspiration, maybe being placed on the all-powerful bud list will. No, that, that, that's, that's fair, Danny. And look, he, he does have, this is a big season for him. Now, the, the thing is, if Russ has a bounce back year, we might not see Justin Fields at quarterback. You don't have to worry but if he, if he doesn't play well, Nick, this year at quarterback, like, this could be the last year until, unless he really has a resurrection a la Geno Smith that he's he's considered a starting caliber quarterback sure. for a while. Because remember, nobody was jumping through hoops to get him from Chicago. So, I thought the bud list was excellent. I think that's a great addition. And now, Brew is going to be put in something of a blender because I am going to put two things Brew holds incredibly near and dear to his heart against each other. In one hand, you have integrity and honesty, which is about as well, important to brew you, as any human being I've ever met. Thank you. On the other hand, the mythology of Michael Jordan. Mythology? And they are I now. I saw it Well, or did you? <laughs> I am putting Michael Jordan's 1988 Defensive Player of the Year award on the bud list. And you, if you haven't been on the internet I, today, well, you might I, be I saying, no why are you talking about an award from 35 no, years ago? It would be a fair question. And the answer yeah. is because the great Tom Haberstrow just dropped a 6,000-word opus, says, um, it's fraudulent. Uh, the stats weren't <laughs> real. Reading from the article, breaking out his numbers into game location, we find Jordan averaged a mind-boggling Four steals and 2.1 blocks at home. 
He was but on the road, Chicago Stadium. those numbers shrunk to a more normal rate of 2.1 steals, 1.2 blocks. Put simply, Jordan's steals and blocks nearly doubled at home compared to the road. So you might say, well, was that common? Does that happen everywhere? Was it about minutes? Was it, is that, well, actually, no. Let's go on reading from the article. Dating back to 1982-83, when the award was established, Jordan's home 